Hi, what's going on guys? It's me Anna Fan. Welcome back to Tech Chablay and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Are your wireless mouse batteries running low? And oh, it seems like you would just change your battery not so long ago. Well, today I want to share with you guys six ways to save your wireless mouse battery. So let's dive in. Way number one, turn off the mouse when it's not in use. I know that we are all vivid wireless mouse users and oh, the time we spend on them might be countless. Sometimes we even forget that the mouse is a battery and it has the lasting time. Mostly you might see an expired date of the battery you bought but your in-use habit will probably have carrying this for longevity. Therefore, remind yourself to turn off the mouse when it's not in use is a top way here to save for some energy. Turning off the mouse battery can be done by easily switching the on to the off button somewhere around your mouse. And just in case that your mouse doesn't have that switch on and off, then try the way down below. Way number two. Withdraw the mouse USB receiver. This way is recommended to turn off the mouse, especially when you find that there's no mouse on and off button. Remember to keep your USB receiver safe for the next time using. Most of the wireless mouse have its own USB receiver stocking place right under the mouse. And that is where it gets safe and less likely to be dropped somewhere or get lost. Oh, and one more thing, withdraw the USB receiver is recommended to be done in parallel with turning off the mouse on that switcher. This is to make sure between your wireless mouse and your USB receiver has completely no contact at all when they are totally off. Interestingly, way number three will show you more on how to use your mouse for less battery draining. Way number three. Use your mouse on a good surface and get a mouse pad. Well, this seems like everybody knows it all, but here is somehow the logic comes into play. Wireless optical mouse are very sensitive to the surface it stands on. Let's say your working table or where you put your mouse on might affect the mouse working speed. If you've got to work under not a flat surface, then you right away will see how inconvenient it becomes when tasking your mouse, let alone that there is some dust all around. Even a very little dust can make a mouse laser optic less workable until it's removed. And if it's a big one, of course, this seems like micro dust for you, but it's huge for the mouse and the mouse starts acting like a weird. Therefore, consider to dust off your working place regularly and get a good mouse pad for a better, smooth tasking, time and energy savings for your mouse. Not only this using habit might affect the way you save your wireless mouse battery. Let's move on to the way number four to know more. Way number four, reduce tax on your wireless mouse. I know that all of those tips here are mostly evolving around the productivity on how to use your mouse in better ways of saving the battery. And here is the core way in terms of increasing the productivity tasking as well as mouse battery saving. You can actually reduce tasks on your mouse by replacing some of the computer using habits, such as Instead of copying and pasting using mouse, you can handle this by combination of keyboards of Ctrl C and Ctrl V. That's very basic tasks in any Word documents. There are more of these tasking in Word documents and you might love to check it out on another video of mine here. Well, not only that Word document has tasking, furthermore, you can utilize arrow keys as well as many other keys to replace for mouse tasking then. Anyway, if any of these taskings can be done through the keyboards, then you should be able to use them instead of using the mouse. Now let's move on to some more tips on the battery itself. Way number five, get an alkaline battery. 
While the longevity of any mouse batteries can be so questionable, but at least we've known so far that alkaline battery might be getting a longer lasting than a non-alkaline one. In my humble experience on using mouse batteries of generic batteries, alkaline as well as non-alkaline, I've got to stick with the alkaline batteries. They last longer and therefore give me more space in between changing the battery time and working time. It's just for the purpose of saving a little more in the long run. Like I said, let's think about the productivity habits of using alkaline batteries and save more time. Let's say if I bought an alkaline battery and a generic one, then the alkaline, for example, lasts for a year and the generic one might last for three to four months. Therefore, if I ever stick with the generic one, I might have to triple my shopping for the whole year. And this is just a piece of logic of mine. And you can take it as a grain of salt as well. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you find this helpful, please share the video so it will reach out more to people. And I'll see you in the next tutorials. Bye for now.